Okay. Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome yeah, to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, thanks to Mark at Bringer of Gore, we have 66 tracks of absolutely insane gore noise. For, to my knowledge, the first time on vinyl, and I apologize for any mispronunciations, but we have feces vomitit with opera des ordel ordeals, or ordels, I'm not really positive. <laughs> I'm just going to say ordeals, but even I'm just going off the turds, because we have Decolog and Vomifel, and this is the Opera des Ordels LP, Bringer of Gore Records proudly presents the Fecal Log and Mama Fail for the first time on Gloriously Shattered Vinyl. Limited and numbered to 300 brown copies, including a double-sided glossy inlay and a poster which is going to Matthew, who won the monthly contest. And having two vocalists is just... Yeah! They knew what they were doing. 66 tracks of disgusting... Gore noise. Gore grind, gore noise, whatever you want to call it. It's sickening, and I love it. Now, yeah, poop is nasty, and I will be giving the Peter Falber record its own video, though, just because I, I need to do a little bit more research on the individual, because I don't know why I know, I, I recognize this person. I have no idea why, but I do. And there's even, like on the inside here, I-K-W-O-U that I-K Peter Faber was. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, but I don't. But what I do know is Feces Vomitit is awesome when it comes to the gore. Like, there's parts where it's like cyber grinding, like, because they're using a drum machine. And it's just, it's awesome. Like, I actually finished, well, not, not finished. Got the demo done for the new Adebisi Lives promo. Now, it's about three minutes, but it's... Like, it's the first time with the proper pitch shifter. You're gonna... I think you're gonna like it. But, like, this... Now, they're both awesome releases. It's just, again, I want to research this a little bit. And I should have done a little bit more research here, but I really couldn't find what I was looking for. Because I was like, alright, what does... What does, uh, SINT mean? S-I-N-T. I was like, alright, like, what does that mean? And I honestly don't know. But it is... Feces Vomitit Opera Des Ordels. So I'm guessing it's Opera Ordeals? I forget what Des is, and that's I, I should know that, but it's uh, O-O-R-D, 
E E L S. So maybe like opera odors, or the opera is stinky. I, I don't I don't know. But uh, like even the song titles, like they're all in. I'm guessing German. And again, I feel very ignorant. This is why you pay attention in school, kids, and don't watch YouTube. We didn't, I just didn't pay attention in German class. Adam, why do you always play with the motorcycle? It was a finger bike, but I get it. He thought it was a motorcycle. Now, that's not Peter Faber. There he is. But again, I'm saving this one. But the splatter brown... Again, I have no problem. I think this LP sounds great, but the splatter is... It's there, trust me. It's just a, kind of like a little... Little black skid marks, almost. Like, especially, like, right up there. You could see it. There's the splatter. Diarrhea. But, uh, yes, that is the band's, uh... You know, you can go, but yeah, those are turds. <laughs> I was looking at it, I was like, are those turds? Like, is that like a real shit? <laughs> he called the shit poop. <laughs> I showed my nephew, Billy Madison, and that was all he got out of the movie. He went home and like, I guess he went to the bathroom, goes to his mom. He called the shit poop. He's three. My diagnosis? Bad babysitting. My diagnosis? Disgusting. Crushing. Awesome. Gore noise. And the fact that I can't pronounce the band's name correctly is awesome. But I do know that I have number 17 out of 304. Color LP. Good number. I'm weird about that. Uh, and I was never weird about it until the uh, Altar of Gore promo. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Because I have number 11 out of 25, and I remember my buddy being like, yo, let me make sure you get a good number. Or was that for the demo? Yeah, that was for the demo. Two out of 25. For the tape. NVNM, Eternal, Respect New Jersey, or Prepare for Eternal Combat. Now, I'm not a New Jersey resident. But it's right across the bridge, and, like, I I think I have more friends in Jersey than I do in Pennsylvania, to be honest with you. But, seriously, if you are a fan of disgusting gore grind that goes kind of trying to think, like, part cock and ball torture... Without the new metal riffs. Part Waco Jesus. Part Early Carcass, obviously. Pathologist. Your early gore grind go-tos. But, like... I don't like the term porno grind. But... Prosthetic CU... Now, YouTube hates that word. So, prosthetic, see you next Tuesday. You, you know what, it, it's Roger from Mortician's side project about aliens. 
effing your daughter with a frozen F stick. It's YouTube. I can't say certain words anymore or we get buried. I hate getting buried. Especially when we're talking about poop influenced gore. Yeah, it's gross, but it's awesome too. 66 tracks. And when it comes to something that's 66 tracks, you can't really be like, well, my favorite track is track 11. What? Like, just listen to the whole thing. It's 66 tracks. Listen to the whole thing. Now, yeah, you might have a favorite song, but, like, come on. It's just one of those things I was, like, thinking about while listening to this. And I was like, hey, you know what? Why wouldn't you just listen to this full record? And it sounds insane, also. And probably one of the heaviest things ever when you put it on the wrong speed. Like, instead of 45, I was putting it on 33 earlier just for shits and giggles. No pun intended. And it was legitimately just like... What the fuck? Like, this is... This is so heavy. But... I know for a long time, this was only floating around, I think, on CDRs. So I have no idea who did the reissue and, you know, got this to sound so good with the vinyl mix for Bringer of Gore, because the production is legitimately, like, hell yeah. I was, like, honestly so impressed with the, the production. And I might hit up Mark and just try and find out a little bit more, especially before the Peter the Peter Faber record by uh, Feces Vomiti. Like I wish I knew like what this stuff meant. Like sign language is here. It's just. But I like that mysteriousness. I'm telling you, I have been having a fucking blast with feces, vomiting. Legit platter of splatter. And I do wonder what the uh, scent means. Right here it says S I N T. Maybe that's the person that did the illustration. I, I have no idea. Because I'm guessing we have Fecal Log on one side and Vomafeel on the other. Or maybe it's together. I, I honestly do not know. And I apologize. But I wanted to let you hear the music. Because it's it speaks for itself to me. Like it's just what I want when it comes to this type of music. So Mark I don't know if you and Eric had a talk, like yeah, what's Chanel like a lot? You nailed it, though. But earlier... Because this is attempt two on making today's video. I Listen to how crazy this sounds on the wrong speed setting. Like, it's 45 regular. I meant 33 regular. And I'm going to put it on 45. Or wait, did I do that already? God damn it. My brain sucks. I'll be able to tell in a second. 
alles wat er gebeurd is, dat heeft duidelijk diepe sporen bij jou achtergelaten. En daarom wil ik dat je dus heel goed naar mij luistert. Jij bent ziek. Yeah, now ready? <laughs> Which way are you supposed to listen to it? Because you can listen to it both speeds. The sample sounds, you know, goofy, but everything else, like. Yeah, everything else works. So, that was fun. Because there's the regular. 33 RPMs regular. My bad. 45 is. <laughs> and you can play again. It it works on on 45 technically, but 33 is the the way to listen to it. Total predator vocals at times. Great. Great gore grind. VCs, vomitit, and if I'm saying it wrong, it is F E C E V O M I T A T I E. Opera D E S O O R D E E L S. So. Super stoked. Yeah, first time on vinyl. Forty-five RPM time. See it works. Except for the chipmunk samples. But it still works as like, you know. Gore, so you still play it at the right speed. Just so you can really, you know, hear that pitch shifter do its job. VCs vomitit. Absolutely disgusting gore noise on Bringer of Gore Records. Thank you, Mark, for making today's video possible. I apologize once again to FV for any mispronunciations. Again, once I get to... I'll grab it in a second. Hold on. When I get to the uh, Peter Fabra... LP. I, I'm gonna. Uh, um, see, I didn't. I should have done more research, but I really couldn't find that much. But I've been like this, and like the tolerance LP. I've just been like, this is this stuff is so good, and just everything that Bringer of Gore has sent me has been amazing. The Blue Holocaust stuff. Like, legit everything. I can't think of a mediocre release. that, Like, especially, like, seriously, this Tolerance. What the fuck? It's just, like, legit top shelf, grimy, just... I, I love that stuff, especially when I'm in the mood for filth. And normally, on, and I'll be honest with you, the Purulent Remains LP, the Vaminur LP, the Blue Holocaust record definitely get a lot of plays, but recently the gore has been really getting a hold. But just real quickly, I will be doing a separate 
video that's a little more professional for feces vomitit with uh the uh Peter Faber record cuz again everything is in a different language and now I don't really again I I need to look back into this but we got copyright like 2004 And I, I I don't know why I feel like I've seen this face before. I don't I don't know, but again, just <laughs> this is a gross one. Ugh. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to going over this sickness with y'all. But like I said, I really wanna. Go over it. He looks like the one actor in Salo, but I know it's not him. Like the the one cr the guy with like he has like a lazy eye in the movie. If you've seen Salo, if you've never seen Salo, you're good. You don't really need to see Salo. It's fucking gross. It's seriously like the nastiest movie I've ever seen. But it looks like the boys like their alcohol. Gotta wear your own band's t-shirt. But, like, I, I know that face. And I don't know why I know it. It has been bugging the hell out of me. But, um... Yeah, Vamafil and Ficolog. Like, uh, again, it's all, and like, Peter, it, it, this is all in a different language and stuff, so I apologize. Because it says, I, I'm guessing Bas is base, obviously, but. Then, like, K-O-T-S in samples. So, but they both do the same thing. So, it says B-A-S, comma, K-O-T-S, in samples. S-E-M-P-E-L-S. -E so, I'm guessing bass, maybe vocals and samples? And then Peter, it says, like, like Reggie next to it. I, I Yeah, or Ray. I, I don't know. But. Sick shit. Literally. Toilet gurgling. Gore noise. And, uh, yeah, like, even the name of the record. I legit cannot pr pronunciate. Because it would be I K W O U that I K Peter Faber was. I'll figure it out though when I do the actual review here. Because again, this is such a. It's so insane how gnarly this band is. And how much they love poop. That's what I mean. Like, when it comes to gore and stuff, and, you know, taking a, a big old number two, for the longest time, I just always thought of that Waco Jesus cover for uh, Total Destruction of Commercial Scum, which uh, I can't show on. Oh, I'll grab it just to show you I have it, though. I can't show it, because I have the original cover art with all the grimy stuff going on. Oh, my God! But, yeah, really, really sick stuff here. Thank you to Ossuary Industries. I even have, like, the censored cover. 
like on the inside, and then like even just ugh, just disgusting shit. You gotta love it. And this limited edition cassette is in memory of Rich Limscombe. His label, United Guttural Records, originally pressed this on CD in 1999. I, re I actually remember when people were like, also, we would like to thank you for purchasing this, you degenerate fuck. And I remember seeing this cover for the first time, like, in high school and being like, Ew. <laughs> like ew fucking ew it was like when my my friend's brother showed us like a real shitsa video and we were like i was probably 14 and i just started throwing up because like my one friend started puking and me seeing him puke caused me to puke it, it was fucking gross it was here. It was nasty. Like, I, okay, I apologize for even talking about this, but here's what the video was. I mean, you made it this far in. I'll end after this little story. So I'm an I'm a freshman in high school. My buddy has cable internet. It's a big deal. So his brother is like laughing his ass off. And we're all, like, watching bike videos, getting ready to go to the skate park. And, uh, I remember him being like, yo, yo, guys, come here. You gotta see this. And, like, he's not telling us what it is. And we're, we're just watching the computer screen. And it's like, it's like this, this lady lying in a bathtub. And this guy kind of... Like, let's say the chair is is the uh, the bathtub. The guy kind of <laughs> gets over it. And he, um, yeah. You know. Yeah, he takes a, he takes a dump. It's gross. Like, I just started, like, as soon as he started throwing up, I started throwing up. And, yeah, lesson learned. If your friends want you to look at some uh, sick shit, say, yeah, I'm good. Or, you know, if you have some morbid curiosity, check it out. This was, like, the early days of high-speed internet. Like, he was the second person I knew that had a CD burner. Like, that was a big deal. We would even go to his house at nighttime and download a bunch of albums. So, after school the next day, they would be finished and we could burn them on the CD. Like, you kids have no idea. How lucky you fucking are. To just be able to go on YouTube. Whatever. But I, I'll stick to listening to physical media. Because I, I just love this shit. Literally. Especially with feces vomitit. Yes. Opera des ordels. On vinyl. Bringer of Gore, 66 tracks of filthy, gore, grinding, madness. Are you a fan of Gore Grind? You're a fan of this record. Legit. Unless you're one of those, only carcass is real. Okay. That's fine. But you can live off two records your whole life. That's cool, but there's some other sick shit out there, and that's what, like, kind of gets under my skin sometimes. When people talk about certain, like, bands, I'm like, yo, like, are you really that close-minded, motherfucker? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna shut up, though. Definitely 
thank you to Mark at Bringer of Gore for making today's video possible and introducing some of you to feces vomitite opera des ordels ficologue and vomafil sick sick shit literally 300 on brown poopy splatter vinyl check it out thanks for watching as always fucking rule hails Thank you again, Mark. Mm.